Hey, everybody. We are on time. And welcome, welcome to Emiliana Designs. Emiliana Designs, I am your girl, Yana. My name's not Emiliana, but I make a million designs. <laughs> All right, so let's get started, you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys some traditional coloring and a little bit of digital coloring as well as where can you get these digital stickers. And we have our lovely iPad that's going to help show off the digital stuff. So first things first, since it is the season of Valentine's, I thought I would come on and show you guys what I have to offer um, all year round. But, you know, it is Valentine's season and it is the season of love. And I do have a Valentine's V-Pack that I have available on this site here. And I'm going to show it to you guys um, really quickly. So, so this is the Season of Love coloring V-pad you guys can get on the iPad. If you want the, if you want to print these out, you guys can. But if you want to color it digitally, you can do that option as well. You have both options. So we have the Grateful Friendship page. We have the Better Together couple page. And we have the Treat Yourself self-love page as well. Okay. So all you have to do is add it to cart and you receive the downloads, the files in your email. And you can print them off or you can open them in Procreate and get to digital coloring okay as well as don't forget you guys it is two separate listings so here's the listing we just looked at but then this is the second one so this is the actual affirmations that go along with the friendship one the couple one and the self-love okay so these are the matching affirmations Please remember that I make affirmation coloring pages, okay? So it's not just the coloring page. It goes along with the affirmation as well. You guys can get that on emilianadesigns.gumroad.com, okay? So we were just on that site, all right? So I'm going to show you guys a coloring page that I did today, actually. And so the three, like I said, let me just go over it one more time. All right. So here are the three. This one is the Love Thyself coloring page. This one is the Friends coloring page. And this one is the Couples coloring page. You guys can get that in the V pack on the site that I listed on the screen for you guys. Or you can visit Amazon. I have a lot of different options for you guys. Or you guys can visit Amazon and get Aligned by Design Affirmations for Creative and Entrepreneurial Spirits. You will get these three pages along with all the other pages inside of this coloring book, okay? So, Aligned by Design. So, today's topic is going to be how did I discover Procreate, okay? That is going to be the topic for today. So we're going to take that off of the screen. All right. Let me just make sure this is in the camera. The camera word. Okay. So how did I discover Procreate? I'm going to put these back here. Well, in 2019, you guys, well, that's a good angle. Okay, there we go. Okay, so in 2019, I found myself unemployed. Um, This is like a recurring thing, a recurring theme in my life where like I'll have a job and I won't have it. I'll have a job that I won't have it. And I felt like it was a sign from God 
yes, I believe in God, that I needed to create something of my own. And he's like, I've shown you how to create. Just do it. Just create it. So I just knew I was in this mentorship, guys. And it wasn't necessarily a mentorship. It was more like a group of people who wanted to do something for themselves, basically, within this time. And I was just on Instagram when Instagram was fun, when I felt like Instagram was community based. I mean, I'm not saying that it's not anymore, but I just I don't really feel that. But anywho, I was in this um, group where we were the challenge was to do something to make something for ourselves and do something that we always wanted to do. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to make coloring pages. And so I felt like, I don't know why I wanted to make coloring pages. I'm going to be truly honest with you. I have no idea why I wanted to make coloring pages. But I remember that year, I was actually drawing in my sketchbook. Either that year or the year about to become, right? I was drawing in my sketchbook. And I just got back to, like, drawing in my sketchbook and then I was like showing my co-workers like that I knew how to draw and all this other stuff so then um I just found myself discovering Amazio graph actually I discovered Amazio graph first before Procreate and I'm gonna say that I discovered Procreate after Amazio Graph, and I was like on the app store on my iPad here, and I just typed in like drawing app, and I came across this app that looked really cool. And I clicked on it, and it was Procreate. I'm like, what is this? And then I started YouTubing Procreate, and I'm like, you can do that in Procreate. So I just started playing with the thing. So one thing about myself is. I'm the type of person where I don't really like tutorials. I like to teach tutorials, but I don't like to watch tutorials. I'm more of a like person that's like, okay, hurry up, get to the point, get to the gist. Okay, I'm like, hurry up, get to the point, get to the gist. And I like to just figure it out for myself, right? That's just what type of person that I am. I like to figure it out for myself. I wish I could zoom in on this, like, if these pages were this big, if I had them like this. I should so buy an easel. That would be nice. If I just get, like, a little table easel and I just put it up on here and then it'll be closer instead of on the table like this. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah. I'm going to have to try to find one of those, okay? But, anywho. I try to make it as close as I can. If this could lean in like this. Or I'll just hold it. I'll just hold it for now. But anywho, um let's see. Anywho, like I was saying, I just the type of person where I like to get the gist of stuff, but I like to discover it for myself. Like <laughs> that's what type of person I am. Like, just teach me a little bit of something and then let me figure out the rest for myself. That's what type of person I am. So, I just did that with Procreate. And then I had discovered this thing called Skillshare. Before everybody started advertising Skillshare as, like, um, their sponsor. Yeah, before everybody started doing all these Skillshare sponsorships or partnerships that they try to say in the beginning of their video, I discovered Skillshare. And I was watching this one lady make coloring pages, but it wasn't her actually making the coloring page. It was more so of like her putting the coloring book together because the coloring page part was fairly easy, but putting together a coloring book Y'all, that was a pro. I mean, it's a process to make all of these coloring pages and to have a concept 
of what you want your um your coloring book to be about, right? So this page right here is I am becoming everything that I want to become. Y'all, all I know is I started to make all these different coloring pages. And then later on, once I got done with all of the designs, that's when I started to make the affirmations go with the um picture. So really, I did all the designs that I wanted to do. And then somehow I was in the, I'm telling you, this is God's word. This is not me. <laughs> this is God's word, okay? So one day I just was in the library. I did this. If you guys don't know the full story, um, I do have a video that's called How I Independently Published a Coloring Book. So I just was in the library and I just had the brains or the idea and God just gave me these thoughts to like call it aligned by design. I didn't know the coloring book was going to be called aligned by design. I didn't know this, this stuff. I realized I did not know. Um, I'm trying to see if I can match it. Now this does have brown and this has purple. I'm thinking I could do the green even though this was a different green, but I'm just trying to make it match, right? I'm just making it match. Ooh. I'm going to do it like this. Okay, hold on. Let me move this. Let me move this, baby. Uh-oh. I am now. I'm going to put that one green. But yeah. I was just in the library and then the ideas just conjured up like the I'm one of those type of people where I don't really plan stuff until the ending. <laughs> I'm just like I do and then I plan later. It's it's really backwards, but that's how my personality is set up. So like I did all of the coloring pages and then once I got to the library and all the designs were done, then I sat in the library and I just was coming up with all these different affirmations. And what really helped me bring come about the different affirmations was going on Pinterest and just typing like affirmations and whatnot and looking at the design and then just like coming up with the idea as I looked at the design. Like for an example, when I did this one, I was like, ooh. She looks really deep. She looks like she's spiritually sound. She looks like she's really trying to get to know herself or whatnot. So I came with this one and it says, I now am becoming all I want to become. And so I just conjured all of those up just by looking at the design and then doing a quote or an affirmation to align with it. And that's why I really called it Align by Design initially why I called it aligned by design was because the affirmations will align the affirmations align to the design. That's why I named the coloring book aligned by design. I didn't make the coloring book intentionally thinking the deeper meaning to what aligned by design meant until later on. And then really aligned by design is speaking on my um, background to where I felt like people in my life did not really encourage me the way that I wanted to be encouraged. You know, sometimes people don't love you the way that you need to be loved or want to love because they don't know how. It's not that they're purposely doing that. They just don't know how, you know. And, you know, it was like a release for me. It was a relief. It was a relief. And it it's just like you take your pain and you make art out of it. And that's basically what I did. So if you guys ever read the back of the coloring book, um, this is the back of my coloring book. And it says, have you been feeling like yourself lately? I mean, your true self. Are you tired of hearing what everyone else thinks is best for you? 
have found yourself using social validation as a measurement of your self-esteem. This self-actualization coloring book was created for young women like you who may have gotten lost in the sauce and other people's doubts and opinions, when truthfully, at your core, you are aligned by your own design. So basically, that was it. Like, a lot of us, we we judge ourselves based on how other people view us and you know that's not a healthy thing that's not healthy I mean yes we care about what people think and you know to a degree but at the end of the day you have to be um satisfied with yourself and not just oh how somebody think you should be or if people are trying to minimize your thoughts or your opinion and they think that their thoughts and opinions are above yours, or they think that they have, they know everything and that they know you more than you know yourself. Like that's not healthy. And so I made this coloring book for creatives and entrepreneurial spirits to align to what they truly want to create. Right. It's like a reminder and it's allowing you to be, to get your creative juices to flowing and not only just your creative juices to flow, but to put into perspective like what it is that you want for yourself. How are you affirming yourself to get what it is that you want? And so I just made these coloring pages and I also made digital stickers. So I'm going to show you guys that too. So I also made digital stickers here. And for those of you who like to prioritize yourself, this is more like Align by Design is prioritizing yourself for who you truly are and what you truly want and affirming yourself in the process, right? So let's go back here. Okay, let's go back here. And then here are some of my digital stickers that are up here at the top. So this one's like a tutorial on how you work with the um digital stickers if you have no idea how to do it. Um, This one right here, this one was like my Halloween digital sticker pack and whatnot. And then I'm going to show you guys how you would, um, how you would utilize that. So how you would utilize it is... Let's say you go to the Good Notes app and you have like a digital planner, okay? So this one's like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, make some apple pie or make some pumpkin pie. Let me just make that bigger. Make pumpkin pie. Um, This one's like make a spooky potion. This one's write the leaves on Monday. Like this is cute little stickers to put like on your digital planner and I also have videos um showing you guys how um look pumpkin picking outfit this is my pumpkin picking outfit you know when you go outside and pumpkin pick so yeah and then it says decorate the house with Halloween decor right so yeah that's how you would utilize um your digital stickers and whatnot and so, yeah, I have a digital sticker of this design as well. The one with the couple. So that's a digital sticker as well. And then here's that, right? And then when I was telling you guys about digital coloring. So this is how you would digital color if you guys are in, would like to discover what that's about. So let's just say I took um, this blue or this green, <laughs> and I come over here and I drop it right there in his pants. That is digital coloring. Um, it just depends whichever kind of style you like the most. So let's say I want purple, and she has a purple dress, right? And we'll just drag and drop that. I like this because it's faster. Like, if you want to color really quick, really fast, you want to do something, like, you want to make you a digital sticker, whichever the case may be, whatever you want to do, you can do that really fast. And you can change out the colors. Like, you don't have to have the permanent color and then, oh, it's over and it's done with. You can keep doing it and change out the color whenever you want. Like, you see how I have this one red? What if you don't want red anymore? Let's do this. 
Uh oh. What if you don't want red anymore and you want this purple? Boop, you can change that. See what I'm saying? So that's what I like about um digital stickers as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be back another day to fully color with you guys. But I just wanted to come on here and show you guys a little bit of what I do and what you guys can do with these coloring sheets with the coloring book with the digital stickers all right so once again my website is amelianadesigns.gumroad.com go ahead and get your coloring pages get your